do enjoy seeing the students develop both technically. I mean, a lot of them are technically better than me. You know, they, they, they were brought up in the computer age. I've had to learn it. So a lot of them will know more about Avid uh, than I do. I can show them how to, yeah, how to use it creatively and, and sh my shortcuts. I offer them things that they can take or leave. If they want to copy the way I've done it, fine. If, if not, they find their own way or a slightly modified way between the two. It can sound very worthy to say that, that yeah, I want to teach the next generation and I think maybe I'm doing it for more of selfish reasons. I, I mean, I get a lot out of it. I, do en I enjoy seeing the students develop. I enjoy giving them information. Um, but it also helps me as, a, as an editor, I find, because I have to verbalise what I do, which I don't usually. I just get on and do it. There is a moment in the process when you're not struggling, but you're thinking, <coughs> is this going to not is it going to work, but is it going to be good? Is it ever going to be really good? And there comes a moment when you've been struggling to an extent and you're thinking, oh, I'm not sure about this. And then without almost knowing, it just suddenly starts, like I say, it starts to sing. It, there's a moment when, I, I've always, for every film, I, I can't predict exactly when it's going to be. I roughly know when it will be, but there, there is this moment when it all starts to work and you think, yep, I've got, I've got a film on my hands. And another thing, for me is the the magic of juxtaposition um, which is obviously what editing is all about and there was one time I was working on a film it's when I was actually cutting on a film which I used to do before Avid there was a time before Avid um, and I was laying up music um, and it was, it was a very sad story it was, it, was a, it was a series about mental illness and there was this lady who had been in the, was in an institution and basically it was at a time when, when doctors used to drill holes in people's heads and poke around and think they were going to make them better. Basically, they were just pacifying them. Anyway, there was this lovely lady, and she started singing. And it wasn't anything particular. It was just quite random notes and words. And the composer had written a piece that came out of that key that she was singing in. And when I started laying it, it affected me so much, I had to walk away from from the steam back. and then I came back and tried to do it again and I couldn't do it it was so powerful and it's moments like that I mean it affected me I mean it was quite sad and I was upset but they are magic moments when it's very simple I mean it's just some images moving and some sound and you put them together and you create something I mean you say more than the sum of the parts but it's much greater than that you're creating something magical and emotional and that for me is why I do it because you have those highs.